<laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's a new month. We made it. We made it. We made it. It's October, y'all. <clears throat> it is October, y'all. What in the world? What in the world? What in the world? Okay, so you might be wondering, who's this? It's Ace, your friendly wellness expert, Ace from Ace Yoga LA. I am thrilled. I am so excited to be here with you guys as a wellness expert for my fam, Gold Fadden MD. Gold Fadden has been providing this glow for some time now, and I'm so excited to be doing energizing yoga flows with you guys, showing you what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, how I'm using their amazing skincare products, and then more than anything, how we're moving, moving our body. Um, but before we begin, a little bit about me. I am a Los Angeles-based yoga instructor, master Reiki practitioner, meditation guide, and an embodier. <coughs> of joy <laughs> okay joy does not necessarily have to mean always you're bopping around jumping around joy looks different on everyone the thing is with joy the primary goal for joy is peace peace is our goal so whatever we do whatever we where are, wherever we are whatever sort of work that we're doing if we can find peace in all that we do if we can find peace and all the bumps along the way that is joy that is joy that is joy so sweet rising joyful flow we're going to be moving for about 15 minutes or so um but i did want to say that if y'all did not see the most recent post that happy birthday gold fat and empty yay happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday okay and so with that they're having a huge friends and family sale so y'all Go and get those products. They make great gifts. And I'm telling you, I am super picky about what I put on my face. And I have been in love, love, love with Gold Fat and MD for, gosh, almost a year now, which has like been really exciting. So go to their website, shop, 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 just in time for the holidays. I know it's crazy. It's October. Ace, what are you talking about? The holidays, what do you mean? Listen, sis, brother. Get your stuff now as a person who, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the candle line as well. Get your gifts right away. Get them now. Have them ready. Be ready. Like, you know how you're two hours early at the airport? Do that now. Be two months early for your gifts, okay? Gold Fat and MD, happy, happy birthday. We love you. I love you. Go and check out their sale. I'll put my code in the captions after I save this live so y'all can save even more dough. All right? So, with that, let's get started. So if you can be in a place where you can hop on your mat or you can hop on your yoga rug, I'm using my ritual rug here, which I absolutely love. Um, or if you're like at work, if you're in a chair or anything like that, if you're driving, um, unless you're being driven, <laughs> I suggest you hang up and um, come back later and watch it because it will be saved. So we're going to move. Our bodies we're gonna just start with moving around a little bit moving around moving around moving around and then we're going to do a bit of a grounding energizing meditation to get y'all ready to rock and roll this day this weekend and this month all right sounds good sound good okay so as my new friends join us my name is ace and I'm from Ace Yoga LA, and I am thrilled, so, so excited, <clears throat> excuse me, to be here with y'all today. So we're going to move our bodies, do some yoga, and end with a grounding meditation. And so, yes, let's do it. All right, friends, here we go. All right, so I um, take a sip of water. Make sure you grab your water, anything, because water, of course, okay, very good for the skin. It's like imperative, so just get some water, okay? And then take a deep breath. Let's get started. There we go. Amazing. Okay. Oh.
Okay, all right, cool, there we go. All right, so let's get started. So let's, let's you know, normally you're probably used to <clears throat> getting started sitting down. Let's get started standing up today. So let's find a place on your rug, on your mat, and just kind of feel your heels underneath you. Feel your toes underneath you, rocking back and forth, rocking back and forth. Nice. Now, kind of feeling the rocking and back and forth, and let's just begin kind of bouncing here. Bouncing, shaking your shoulders, lifting your arms up, rolling your shoulders back, twisting left, twisting right. All right, now that we know our feet were grounded, let's move them a bit. So let's kick our feet up. <clears throat> let's kick our feet up. This is kind of shaking all the willies out, y'all. Y'all remember that when you were little? Your teacher would say, shake the willies out. Okay, so we're doing that here. And then let's just kind of bounce side to side here. Anyone can do this. You can do this anywhere, especially in the middle of a meeting. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know if that's true or not, but it would make for excellent conversation. <laughs> All right, friends. And as we're just kind of moving the energy around, moving our natural chi around, just start thinking about an intention that you have for today's practice. Think about an intention that you have for this day. It's a new month. I like to say new month, new blessings, grateful and thankful in advance. <clears throat> So, moving around. All right, friends. And then when you're ready, let's just kind of softly begin to slow our bouncing down. Slow our bouncing down. Not abruptly, but just like a slow, slow down. Beautiful. Now, begin to reach both hands up. Reach both hands up. Reach up. Nice. And collect. grab your palms. Connect your palms at the top. And then inhale, lengthen. Grab for your left wrist, exhale, half moon over to the right, send your hips over to the left. Inhale, come on back up to center. Let's grab for our other wrist here, right, right wrist, lengthen center. Exhale, over to the right, hips over to the right, arms over to the left, breathe. <clears throat> nice. Inhale, come on back to center. Reach your palms up again, and then exhale, bring your palms down here to your heart center. Relax your shoulders away from the tips of your ears, coming into samasti to he. Balance equal on all four sides. Affirming here that I am balanced, I am well, I am here. All right, friends, amazing. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, standing forward, fold, hinge at your hips, fold into the beauty that is you. Nice, now begin to have your feet kind of about outer hip width distance apart. See me here. Having your feet about outer hip width distance apart, you can measure that with two fists between your feet. Nice. And then just kind of swaying your upper body side to side to side, shaking your wrists, shaking your, rolling your neck, shaking it all out, letting it all go. Beautiful. Now, take your left palm down, reach your right arm up. Right, left knee bends, left elbow bends, right leg straight, right arm straight up. And release, nice work. Reach that right hand down, right knee bends, right elbow bends, reach the left arm up. And release, beautiful. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And then shake your head, yes, again. Heel toe your feet together to touch, big toes together, heels a sliver apart now, and slowly begin to rise up. Reaching your arms up this time, palms connecting overhead. Again here, lengthening. And then exhale, palms to the heart center again. It's all about drawing the energy from the ground up and then back through the crown of your head to your heart center. Nice. Now inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, standing forward, fold. 
All right, this time, friends, inhale, halfway lift. We create this nice L shape with our body here. So stretching the tailbone back, putting a little bit more weight in the ball mounts of your feet, stretching the crown of your head forward. Nice. And then we exhale, plant our palms, step back to our first high plank of the morning here together. Yes. Real friends bring you into high plank right away. <laughs> You can also come down to your knees too, fam, if this is too much for you right now. All good. And then inhale, send your heart forward. Heart goes forward, heart goes forward. Wrist at an angle with our shoulders and then exhale, low plank. We're gonna lower all the way down to our belly to baby cobra. Baby cobra here, nice work. Wiggling your feet back behind you. And what's beginning to happen here, friends, is we're beginning to stretch, press the middle of the feet into the mat. Our lower half of the body becomes our anchor. Elbows, um, excuse me, fingertips underneath the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in nice and tight. Little to no weight is in your hands as you press the middle of your feet down, energizing our spine. And then exhale, release. Nice work, friends. Tuck those toes under, press yourself up to your knees, and then back to downward facing dog. First downward facing dog here in the morning. Now pedal your feet right and left, left and right. My favorite thing about downward facing dog is that it used to be like something that I was like, oh, I can't do this. I don't know how to becoming one of my favorite asanas because it like, first of all, it's the first inversion that I learned because my head is above my heart. Two, it kind of helps if you're feeling a little blue to just kind of go upside down, shift your perspective. Three, it, it helps to stretch my hamstrings, stretch my calf muscles, stretch my heels, stretch my entire body. And again, your heels don't have to touch the earth. Your knees can be softly bent. Nice. Now inhale, sweep that right heel up, open up the right hip, roll your knee one to two times to the right. Oh yeah, one to two times to the left. Open up the hip and then exhale, step wide to the outside of your right pinky, your right foot here, friends. Keeping your left palm down, reaching your right hand high. Now, you can keep this back leg straight, or again, you can bring it down to the mat, up to you. We're not here long. Breathe for three, two, and one. Release that right hand down. <clears throat> Send the right heel high, yes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh, I'm feeling like the, I've been doing all these different workouts this week, y'all, and I'm feeling it in my body plus life. So <laughs> I'm here with you. All right. Inhale. Send the left heel up now. Open up the left foot. Squeeze the left heel towards the left boot. Roll it up. And then the other way. Beautiful. Open up, open up, open up. And then exhale. Step wide. Low lunge. Left foot to the outside of your left pinky. Now, my hip like wanted to dump down right away. I don't like that for us. So if, you, if your hips are dumping down and you're finding it uncomfortable, like I said on the other side, you can bring your knee down, totally fine. Or you can keep your leg up and then reach the left hand high. Mm-hmm. Noticing, friends. Breathe here. Three, two, one, sweep the left arm down. Here we go. Send the left heel high and then exhale, downward facing dog. All right, here in our downward facing dog for three, two, and one. All right, heels lift, exhale, high plank. Let's wake those shoulders up here, friends. Rolling the shoulders back here in the high plank. And again, you can always come down to your knees. Rolling the shoulders forward, just soft, subtle movements. Breathe. Engaging the belly, finding the power in your solar plexus. 
You are here. You are brave. You are ready. And then send your heart forward. Exhale, low plank. And you can always do cobra. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the middle of the feet into the mat. Shine your beautiful hearts forward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Woohoo! Nice work, friends. All right. Beautiful. Gaze forward. Travel to the top of your mat here for me. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Beautiful. All right, here we go. Inhale, chair pose. Oh, y'all knew this was coming. I know we're here for 15 minutes, but you got to have a seat and a chair. And you got to shake your booty just a little bit because it's Friday and it's a birthday party for Gold Fat and MD. Hello. <laughs> Breathe. And just kind of move your body, seeing how it feels. Yes, maybe you're even bringing your arms to this gold post position. Maybe you're rolling your shoulders forward. Maybe you're rolling your shoulders back the opposite direction if I can figure it out. <laughs> But again, you're just moving intuitively here, my friends, breathing here for three, here for two, and one, bring your beautiful palms to your heart center. Exhale, standing forward fold. Yes. Inhale, halfway lift. All right, exhale, plant your palms, step back high to low plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. All right, great job here, friends. Beautiful. Nice. So let's open up the hips just a little bit more. Reach the right heel up. Exhale, step forward to a low lunge. Let's open up our hearts. Warrior two. Mm-hmm. Nice. Back leg straight, front knee bent, 90 degrees. Arms straight. Y'all are killing it. I see you're doing amazing. I may can't see you, but I can see you in my heart, and I can feel you in my heart. <laughs> All right, inhale, reverse warrior. Reach up. Nice, peaceful warriors, peaceful yogis. And then exhale, reach forward. Reach, 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 reach. Extended side angle stretch. Reach that left arm up. Soft, subtle upper body twist. Breathe. Three, two, sweep those palms down, step back. Let's do, let's go right back to our downward facing dog. If you want to throw a vinyasa in there, feeling spicy, get it. All right, inhale, send the left heel up now. Exhale, step forward to a low lunge. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Back leg straight again, front leg 90 degree bend. You got this. Arms extended out to a T. So many brave warriors. All right, keep your legs where they are. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left arm up, my beautiful friends. Nice. And then exhale, reach forward. Extended side angle stretch. Yes, feel this heart opening. Feel it, friends. You got it here for three, two, one. Sweep both arms down. Step back. Let's find our way into a downward facing dog. Hopefully, your heart is pumping like mine is. I definitely, mine is definitely pumping. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, let's do. Once again, coming here back to our downward facing dog. As you shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Breathe here. Three, two, one. Let's allow our knees to come down to the earth here, my friends. And I'm such a big believer in giving our feet some love. So untuck your toes. Let's come and have a seat on our ankles on our heels, 
breathe. Nice. Now, this is amazing for anyone who has any sort of like knee tightness, quadricep tightness at all, and then if your ankles are a little sensitive. It's also an amazing stretch to do after you've come in from a run or a walk. All right, and so you can begin to take your hands back behind you, lift your knees up, breathe. Amazing, let's allow our feet to come back down. And if you wanted to have that a little bit more, you absolutely can but make sure that you stretch your legs afterwards by pressing the back of your left back ball end of your feet into the mat behind you. Breathe. Nice, and let's begin to sweep our heels from underneath us. Come to have a seat on our mat. Windshield wipe our knees side to side to side. All right. And let's keep our knees nice and bent here. Bring our fingertips behind us. Let's again, let's go into a reverse tabletop here now. So lifting the hips up. Yes, stretching the heart up, stretching the heart open. Maybe you drop your head back behind you, opening up that throat chakra. You got this, breathe. Three, two, one and release. Great job here, fam. Great, great job. Let's bring the soles of our feet together to touch. Knees open wide like butterfly wings. Baddha Konasana. Now, I also teach kids yoga, and I'm always asking my kids when I'm teaching them, where are we flying away to in our butterflies? So after we're done here, I want you all to type in the chat, where y'all flying away to? Where are we going? If you can go anywhere in the world as a butterfly, where would it be? Hmm, where would you go, Sir Reggie? He's probably like somewhere where there's food, lady. I know I'd go to Bali. <laughs> or back to South Africa. Beautiful, all right, friends, let's close our knees like a book. And again, just kind of windshield wiping our knees here side to side. All right, and let's swing our heels behind us now and coming into a tabletop position. Let's do a few rounds of cat cow, dropping the belly down, shining the heart forward. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. One more. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Nice. Come on back to center here. And again, rolling our shoulders again like we began. And then rolling them forward. All right. And then swing the heels from underneath you. And let's find a comfortable seat on our mats, okay? Find a comfortable seat, seat on our mat. Crisscross applesauce with your legs, if that feels good to you. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, let's twist to the right. Bring your right palm back behind you, left palm to your knee. Nice. Inhale, center. And exhale, twist to the opposite side. And release. Nice work. All right, reach both hands up this time. And then let's bring our palms to our heart center here. Now you can keep your palms at your heart center, friends, as we move into our meditation here together to seal our time together here this morning. Or you can bring your palms to wherever they feel organically, where they want to go. What I invite you to do here now, friends, is to think about the intention that you set at the beginning of our practice. It's a new month. No need to feel that you're in a rush to get anything done. I know that society and our culture sometimes makes it feel as though that we have to keep going and going and going. But in the hurry, in the rush, do you feel as though you might be missing out on life itself? 
do you find that you might be missing out on feeling what's actually happening in your mind, in your body, in your heart? Finding a beautiful, beautiful pace is again all about peace in all that we do and joy in the journey. I know that some days the pace might be more increased than others, and that's normal, but if we can maintain our own inner peace, our own inner joy, our own inner guidance, our own inner stillness, then it will start to feel the same every day because we're not allowing outside entities to be the boss of us. We're emptying, 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 and allowing more of our truth, more of the things that might have been buried to come to the top. And that sweetness, like I, I like to call it, likes to take its time, likes to take up space, likes to reside. Allow it, make space for it. Let's take three cleansing breaths together here, friends. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. Big exhale. One more big inhale. And exhale. May everything you do be a moving meditation. May everywhere you go be guided by peace. Your light is your vision and your protection. May you use it to set your soul free. Stay brave in your pursuit of joy. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you today. Ashe, peace and blessings. Thank you all so much. That was so great. I uh, trust if you followed along with me live here that you're feeling a little bit more ready to do the day. <laughs> if you're coming back and watching this later. Um, oh, hi. Hi, New York. Um, thank you so much for being here, beautiful. Thank you. Um, and if you're watching this later, just, you know, drop a comment. Um, again, my name is Ace, Ace Yoga LA. Y'all are going to probably be seeing my mug a bit more around here as a as their new wellness expert. And I'm so, so thrilled. So, um, again, y'all go shopping. Happy birthday, Gold Fat and MD. Take advantage of the friends and family sale that's going on right now and get gifts for your skin. Because when we're glowing, this practice of yoga, meditation, Reiki, stillness walking is all about empowering the glow from the inside out and so gold fattens got you so okay friends um if you have any questions definitely hit me up on instagram um until next time y'all stay sweet you hear <laughs> that's the southern girl in me saying y'all come back now you hear bye <laughs>